Lang, Living Country Girl here, and I am going to talk today about picking your homeschool curriculum. I get a lot of questions on um, homeschooling our kids and how we pick our curriculum and stuff like that. So I thought I would give you my top five tips for picking homeschool curriculum. Okay, so I am by no means an expert at this, obviously. I've only been doing it for a few years, but um, I figured I'd share kind of some of the things that we've discovered along the way, and sh um, hopefully they'll help you guys so you guys don't waste your time and money doing the same mistakes. So my top, top tip is don't buy a curriculum and spend a fortune on a curriculum thinking that you are going to be using it for all of your kids coming up. Um, what I mean by that is like if we spent $300 on a language arts curriculum for my daughter for her third grade year, we didn't do that just by the way. Um, but we were like, we kind of justify that go, well, we're going to use it on my son and you know, so-and-so and so-and-so, and -so, you know, like use it on all your other kids. We only have two kids, but you know, and kind of justify spending that money because you're going to use it on other kids. Well, each kid learns different and what worked for your first kid might not work for your second or third kid. So don't buy a curriculum thinking you're going to use it for everybody. A lot of the reason people homeschool is because their kids don't fit into that traditional learning box that is expected at school. So why would we push them into it at home and expect them to learn from the same curriculum that their brother and sister learned from if it's not how they learn? Each kid has a different learning style and you will discover that as you're teaching them if they're more textile or, you know, just the different kind of learning styles that they have. Um, my daughter is, is quick to learn. She's picked stuff up very easily. My son tends to be a little more textile, a little more, um, you kind of have to make it playful. I mean, obviously my daughter loves having fun too, but I don't have to make all of her subjects fun. Whereas with my son, he gets very frustrated and I'm, you know, very easily and he's more, um, playing you know I mean it's part of that's his age and I'm sure as he gets older you know he'll be able to you know concentrate more but I've noticed that you know for him he learns completely different than my daughter so you know it's something that I have to adapt and if I would have bought a curriculum expecting him to use it because it worked for my daughter I'd probably be disappointed and frustrated and he would be frustrated and my hubby would be frustrated because we spent all that money thinking that we weren't gonna have to buy more but you know what I mean so don't think that you're, you should buy a curriculum that's going to work for all your kids. So don't, you know, overpay for a curriculum thinking it's going to work for all your kids. If you like that curriculum and you're fine paying that, then by all means, you know, go for it. But just don't think that, you know, it's going to work for all your kids. So that's like my number one tip. The number two is don't feel you have to buy all your curriculum from the same, um, you know, manufacturer. And by that, I mean like we use curriculum from all different people. Um, I know some programs like Sunlight and stuff, they pull from different you know, distributors as well and uh, put together their own package. But even with that, I found that you know I might like their math and their spelling, but I didn't like who they chose for science or whatever. So by doing it ourselves, we're able to um, pick what we want. We go through and we um, have teaching textbooks for math. They, that's the only thing they do. They don't teach any other you know subjects. I wish they did, but unfortunately not yet. We have Bob Jones for grammar, a reason for spelling, um, for spelling. And then we have a Becca for science and social studies. So, and then I have a program that I got off teacher pays teacher for art. So, you know, you can go all over and you can find different curriculums that you enjoy, that you like, um, that will work for you and your family. So don't feel that you have to stick with all of you know, a certain horizon or whatever, you know, program it is. Um, we also have changed numerous times throughout our, you know, homeschool years, what we used in first grade, we don't use now, or what we used, you know, in second grade, we're changing. Um, my daughter really likes her spelling. She doesn't want to change her spelling, but the language arts I'm looking at is going to be incorporating all of it, including spelling. So I told her, let's go ahead and get the, you know, material. I think it's going to be great because it does have a lot of emphasis on reading. Um, not only me reading to her, but her spending time reading alone. And she's, you know, has a little bit of trouble with reading. So I think for her, it'll be great to have a curriculum that kind of focuses a lot more on reading since that's where she needs help, but it also, you know, incorporates grammar and spelling and other things. Well, if she doesn't like the spelling part of it, I have no problem going and buying the spelling, a reason for spelling, and we'll just skip the spelling part, even though it's part of that, you know, um, curriculum, we can skip it. It's not going to hurt to skip it and use something else, you know, in that spot. So keep that in mind when you guys are purchasing your curriculum that you're going to have to kind of adapt it for what works best for your family and for your kids. And again, I think that's why we homeschool is because we want to find what works best for our kids instead of putting them into that little box. So that's my second one. You know, feel free to mix and match your curriculum up however you see fit for your family and for your kids. 
So the number third one, or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the third one, or number three, is watch reviews on these curriculums. I am a very visual person. I want to see and touch and feel the books. However, I've never made it to a curriculum fair. I've never made it to a homeschool convention. So I've never been able to actually pick up and look at books. So for me, I would love to you know, be able to do that, but I can't. So for, I watch YouTube videos like crazy on curriculum and I go through and I spend a bunch of time watching different videos, you know, and some of them just go over them really briefly. This is what we're using. This is what we're using, but they don't go into detail, opening them up. I want to see the pages. I want to see what the lessons are going to look like. So I love using YouTube. There's also a bunch of blogs out there that give different reviews for homeschool curriculum as well as, you know, you can look on um, some of the websites that they will show you as, you know, how they use it as well in a little more in depth or some of them have samples or whatever. So definitely do your research, try to get um, the best, you know, opinion you can. Christian Book Distributors carries a lot of different um, curriculums as well as like Amazon has really great reviews on different curriculum. Doesn't mean you have to buy them there, but at least you can get some reviews and some ideas on what the curriculum is like or what people felt about them. Um, and like I said, I, go, I usually will look at for a curriculum on Christian Book Distributors and see that it has a high rating and read some of the reviews and then I will go to YouTube and I will try to find a video of somebody showing that. If I can't do that, then I'll find a blog and I literally go through all those steps to try to get the most information about that curriculum that I can to see if it looks like it'd be a right fit for our family before we ever purchase it. So that's um, number three is, you know, watch review watch videos, watch reviews, get as much information as you can from, you know, the different avenues and see, you know, what seems like it'd work best for your family. So another great resource for this, number four, is talk to your friends. If you have friends at home school, ask them. Ask them if you can come over and look at their curriculum even. You know, I mean, Kay, can I come see your curriculum? Can I see what you guys, you know, are using? You know, like I said, I'm a visual. I want to touch. I want to see. I want to actually, you know, dive into that book before I decide to, you know, spend the money on it because the curriculum can be very expensive. So, you know, talk to your friends. If you don't have any friends at home school, um, I, you know, ask me. There's comments down below. Tell, ask what I think of different, you know, programs. I might have used them and never talked about it because I didn't start doing this YouTube thing until a year ago. So, you know, maybe I've used it in the past. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I have a friend that uses it, you know. Talk to other people, talk to other homeschoolers, you know, find out, join a homeschool committee, um, community, you know, on Facebook or whatever, even before you decide you're going to homeschool just to kind of see what's out there. So that's a really great way to learn more and to see if um, the curriculum might work for you guys or even homeschooling might work for you guys is talk to your friends um, and, you know, see if you can connect with some other homeschool families and see what they have to say about different curriculums and stuff. I think um, it was one of my friends who was telling me about teaching textbooks because I hadn't really heard of it. And I was talking to her and she homeschools eight of her kids. Like she's an amazing mom. And, um, so I was asking her and she was like, yeah, we love teaching textbooks because it does it all for you. And I'm like, what, what, what? There's a math program that does it all for you? You know, How have I not heard about this? So last year, that's what we did. We went ahead and ordered teaching textbooks for my daughter. So um, definitely talk to your friends, get their opinion on some of the curriculum too. So number five is check on Amazon, eBay, and um, Christian Book Distributors, as well as the sites that the companies are actually selling, like the actual distributor sites, you know, or, or the publisher sites, because a lot of times you can find that, or at least I have found, like with teaching textbooks, I looked at buying it used on eBay, and they are deep, um, videos, you know, so you don't... Um, you don't know if they're scratched. I mean, I know they say they're not scratched, and stuff, but I don't know. Have they been in the heat? You know, is there something wrong with them? And most of the time when I would look, it would only be maybe $20 cheaper to buy it used off eBay than it was to go to the site and buy it. So definitely check out the sites as well because some families, I don't know, they, they try to get their money back after they've used it, which I understand. But at the same time, um, it's a used product. So, you know, I mean, that that being said, we've found some really amazing deals on eBay for other curriculum that has been amazing and totally worth it. But just check anyways. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Check it anyways. Sorry. <laughs> check the, you know, check on eBay, check on Amazon, check on Christian book distributors, check on the actual sites that these companies, um, you know, sell their curriculum from to see and compare. I have already decided um, what curriculum we're going to use for next year. So now I am just in the process over the summer of keeping my eyes out to see if I can find a good deal um, 
on Amazon, on eBay, wherever, and maybe, you know, get this curriculum for a better price. If not, then I know I'm going to be what I'm prepared to spend at the end of, you know, the summer if I haven't found it. So it's a great way to, you know, find some of your curriculum. And like I said, find a little discount. There's also curriculum, like used curriculum fairs and different things like that. So that's also really nice. Like I said, I've never been able to make it to one. I know we have one. I think that's uh, a couple hours away from where I live. And I just, I have always been able to find something on eBay and stuff. And I figure I don't have to waste the time driving up there and all of that. So, you know, it doesn't work, but we've had some local ones too. Um, however, most of the time I've already found my curriculum by the time those ones come around. So check out all the different sites, you know, don't, don't, you know, just stop at one site and think you need to order it all and go from there. So, I hope those five tips help you guys out with picking your homeschool curriculum. Um, if you have any questions or anything, go ahead and put in the comments below. I'm going to be doing some follow-up videos that are going to show you guys a little more in detail the curriculums that we did use this past year because I just kind of did it overall at the beginning, but I know, like I said, that it's time for people to start researching those curriculums, so I wanted to show you guys them. So hope you guys, uh, hope this helped you guys out, and it was wonderful sharing with you guys. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.